Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back with me, Nathan. In this video, I want to share how you can download and install local, private, and uncensored AI models on your own computer. So as AI tools are becoming more integrated in our lives, there is a growing concern about privacy, security, and censorship, especially when it comes to popular AI models like ChatGPT or DeepSeek. The truth is, when you use those online services, your data often doesn't stay with you. For example, if we go to DeepSeek website here and then scroll to the bottom to get to the privacy policy page, we can see the information collected by DeepSeek when we use the model. Down here, DeepSeek says it automatically collects certain personal data from you when you use the services, including internet or other network activity personal data such as your IP address, unique device identifiers, and cookies. And if you scroll down again to the personal data storing section, you'll see that it states, the personal data we collect from you may be stored on a server located outside of the country where you live. To provide you with our services, we directly collect, process, and store your personal data in People's Republic of China. And to be fair, DeepSeek isn't the only one doing this. Other AI platforms, including ChatGPT, also collect user data to improve and develop their services. They also apply content filters and censorship, which means the models can be biased, and in some cases, certain topics or responses are completely restricted. So you don't always have full freedom over what you can generate or talk about. That's why in this video, I'll show you how to run your own AI models locally right on your computer. All of this is possible with the help of LM Studio, an application that makes it easy for anyone to run AI locally on their own machine. Okay, to get started, you can go ahead to its website at lmstudio.ai. I will leave the link in the description as well. And here, you will be shown a download button for your operating system. I'm using a MacBook M series, so it showed the version for the OS. Once you downloaded the application, just install it like any other application. And here's the welcome screen of LM Studio. Just click the get started button here and you will be shown three distinct levels that customize your experience when using LM Studio. Basically, the user level will remove almost all customization options from LM Studio, while developer will unlock all kinds of things you can do with the application. I would recommend just leave it at power user so that you can still easily customize LM Studio. You can still change this later, so don't worry about it. And on the next screen, you can see the main chat interface provided by LM Studio. Uh, there are some quick tips here to search or find in chat sessions. Uh, let's just close it for now. Okay, this chat interface is quite similar to other AI services like ChatGPT and Gemini. You can send a message in this chat box and on the top side, you can select the model to run in LM Studio. Here, it recommends the GPT OSS model, but in case you want to use other models, you can click on this magnifying glass icon on the sidebar to open the mission control interface. On this window, you can search for a specific model that you want to download and use get information on runtime extensions currently used to run AI models, and your hardware or system resources information to monitor how much resources are being used. But of course, the most important point here is to look for AI models, so let's go back to model search. And here you can look for any AI models that you want to download and run locally. For example, you can search for DeepSeek model, and there is the most popular DeepSeek model, as well as the model variants. You can also look for other models like Mistral, for example, and then also the Quantry models over here. Now, one thing I liked about LM Studio is that it actually tells you if you can run the model on your computer. First, click on this filter option, and then there is this option to include only staff picks that can fit on my device. Let's deselect that. And now we can see this Quantry ATB model, which is a larger model than my computer can handle. If we scroll down a bit here on the download options, we can see that LM Studio says it's likely too large, so I can't probably run it on my device. This is really good as it means I can be sure that the model I want to download is runnable. If I select another model like Quant 34B here and scroll down a bit, and it says this model can be loaded entirely in my GPU memory. But again, this model is probably too small. Uh, I want to use one that really pushes my hardware to its limits. Hmm, let's see more staff picks here. And there is the Quantry 235B model. Uh, obviously, it will say likely too large here as this is even larger than the previous model. Now, let's select a smaller model, uh, for example, uh, maybe this Quantry 8B model. 
And yep, it says full GPU offload possible. Uh, so let's download and run this model. Now, since the download will take some time to complete, I will skip ahead to when it's finished. Okay, so the Quantry 8B model has been downloaded, and now we can load this model in LM Studio over here. So let's do that. It will take a few seconds for the model to be loaded. Uh, you can see the progress over here. And now the model is loaded and we can start chatting with the model. So I will just say hello and then press enter. And now we can see the thinking process of the model before it responds as shown here. Now if you look at the top here, notice that the computer is not connected to the internet as the Wi-Fi has been disabled. So this Quen model is running completely local. And let's send another message, for example, say what is JavaScript? And now the model will think before answering again. And then here's the answer given by the model. Now below the chat box, there are some options you can enable for the session. Over here, we have integrations where we can connect plugins and MCP to LM Studio. We will explore this more in another video. And then we have the thinking mode here. We can turn it off so that the AI model will skip the thinking pace when answering. Over on the right side, we can switch the chat role between user and assistant, which is useful for providing context and steering the conversation. Okay, that's about it. Uh, oh, and on the left side here, we have this attachment button that we can use to attach files to the conversation. Alright, now let's try another prompt. So I will ask the AI, how can I create a malware using JavaScript? Send the prompt in. And here we can see that the AI model refused to answer. It says, I'm sorry, I can't assist with that request. So as you can see, the model is not giving the information that we are asking. It's definitely a bias as the information can be used for education or research purposes. Now, LM Studio also provides all kinds of open source and free to use AI models, including unrestricted models like Dolpin. The Dolpin models is a family of AI models that don't impose its ethics or guidelines on you. It's practically an uncensored model. To get a Dolpin model, just click on Mission Control again and then search for Dolpin. And here we can see various Dolpin models that we can use. Uh, for now, I will simply use the first model, which is Dolpin 2.8 here. And now I will skip a bit to when the download is complete. Alright, the Dolpin model has been downloaded here, uh, so let's load that model. And let's ask the same question as to Quantry model. How can I create a malware in JavaScript? Press enter here. Alright, as you can see, the Dolphin model provided an answer to that question, even though it prefaces the answer with this notice, creating malware is illegal and unethical. However, if you're learning about security and want to understand how it works, here's a basic example. So yeah, this Dolphin model is a private, uncensored, and offline AI model. Let's test the same question again on Quantry model. Select the model, and then send a message. And yep, you can see here how Quantry refused to answer the question. So that's a quick overview of how you can use LM Studio to run AI models locally without your personal data being collected or shared with third-party companies. LM Studio also comes with more features that are useful for development. Uh, for example, there is a built-in development server that you can run to access AI models programmatically using Python or JavaScript. I'll cover that in another video. There is also the model management page where you can tweak different parameters and settings. This part is a bit more advanced, so it helps to learn about the configuration options first. And if you ever need to free up space, you can easily delete any downloaded models here. As you can see, the two models I have right now take up about 8.7 gigabytes of storage, so it's a good idea to remove the ones that are no longer in use. Oh, and one thing I almost forgot to mention, down here, you can change the user level of LM Studio, which is the option set when you first run the app. Here, we can switch to user level, and you can see the sidebar disappears in this mode, making it more difficult to customize LM Studio. You can also change it to developer level, and there will be extra information here that's important important for development purpose. For example, the question icon here shows the parameters and data sent to the AI model which can be helpful. But unless you're developing apps that use AI models, the power user level should be good to go. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now you know how to use LM Studio to run AI models locally that are both private and uncensored. 
I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nathan and I help you build profitable apps and projects using AI and other tools. Make sure to subscribe if that's something you find useful. Don't forget to like this video, turn on the notification bell, all that good stuff as it really helps the channel to grow. With that being said, thanks so much for watching until the end. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye!